It's just in time everyone. What we're doing here is we're now going to go off-road in here and before we do I'm just going to quickly address this query that everyone's been asking or many of you have been asking about the sensitivities around these little cubs. So but, you know, there's there's no hard and fast rule. There is a rule that we don't view them um, as a game drive sighting if the mother is not there. There is, um, however, a rule in place here where you're allowed to go and have a look. If mum's there, you can stay and have a look, and then maybe one or two other game drive vehicles during the course of a drive will come in. The sensitivity around it is to do with smell and to do with sound. And so we don't want vehicles going in and out the whole time because any threat that there might be, mainly from hyenas, possibly leopards, maybe wild dogs, but it's largely hyenas, any threat that there might be from hyenas would obviously be that much higher if the sound of vehicles is moving all the time. Likewise, if there's a huge smell of these vehicles, perhaps a hyena coming up wouldn't be smelt as easily. I'm not so convinced about that one, but I'm happy to go with it. So by going in briefly stopping the car not making a noise not moving and repositioning the whole time we are not being insensitive by pulling in and out repeatedly and moving the car to get a better view then yes that probably would be insensitive so that's what we're going to go and do if mum is not there we'll have a quick look and then we'll move out again if mum is there then we'll stop and we'll have a nice sighting hopefully of those little ones they might all be gone by now she may have moved the den